Good morning, good morning, good morning. You lovely lot. Ozzy, what are we doing? We're going on a train with who? Who are we going on a train? Jackie and? Emily. Unfortunately, Juliana and Ginya can't come on the train, but they're going to meet us at the train station. I'm going to go to the park and we're going to have something at the cafe. Yeah? Oh, the oh, don't go over the yellow line, Ozzy. Remember, stay on that side of the yellow line because it's safe on this side until the train comes and stops. Because they're going on the train too. So we've just gone under one bridge, which is at the station. Oh, that's another train gone past. That made me jump. Yum, yum, yum. Is that nice? Yeah. I imagine the bacon will be eaten and the bread will not so much be, ba be eaten. Are we trying a different park today, Oz? A different park today? Yeah, pink, pink park. Pink park, pink and purple. It's got a pirate ship over there as well, hasn't it? Where's the pirate ship, Oz? Yeah. What do pirates say? They don't say poo poo, they go arrrr. Maybe poo poo pirates say that. I'm having a day, is what I'm having, and I've raided the spare chocolate stash. Not that I've seen much chocolate left in there, to be honest. Looks like the stash has been raided, but I feel like chocolate is required. Um, so, the day started off really well. Our new jackets arrived, that's all good. I knew today might be a bit difficult for Emma. I'm sure she won't mind me saying, but it's the seven year anniversary of her dad passing. Um, and it was very unexpected. Her dad's death was an accident. Um, so it was very out of the blue. So I'm sorry, I'm just watching many, many crows circling over something out there, but I don't know what. Um, yeah, so today was going to be potentially a bit difficult for her. And um, she had a bit of a wobble yesterday and needed a bit of sheep time. And I gave her a hug, I made her a drink and what have you. Um, and Skye's had a difficult situation to deal with at school as well. A bit sort of, she tried to do the right thing, but it ended up going badly. Um, and ended up getting in trouble herself over it because she felt very passionate about how the situation had developed and the person that was being wronged. And she was absolutely in the right to be disgusted by the situation and she was absolutely in the right to do something about it. But unfortunately she, maybe didn't tackle it in the best way um, and became sort of emotionally involved in it herself. So we've had that to contend with. Um, and then this morning we went to let the sheep out and Maggie is not well. She walked out, totally blanked food and you've seen how they are, um, totally blanked food, just wouldn't come and stand with us. Every time I went to give her a stroke, she walked off, just very not herself. Um, Autumn was all over us, but Maggie was very much not. So I shouted across to Emma, who was over at the cows and said something's wrong with Maggie. And she got straight on the phone to the vet and we were told potentially we could have fed her too much because we've been training her and what have you. And, you know, we probably have given her too much of the, um, the pellet but that's not the problem. It was either the, you know, that or potentially pneumonia. And I had noticed she got quite a snotty nose the last couple of days. And the vet's been out and she's got pneumonia. Um, Rob says we're very lucky we picked up on it so quickly because pneumonia can kill a sheep very quickly. So I wasn't here and I'm kind of glad I wasn't here because Emma said I would have found it really difficult to contend with because they've literally had to pour loads of water into her tube, feed her water, which was very unpleasant for everyone involved, probably her more than any of us, but really horrible to have to see. Um, and she's been given antibiotics, she's been given steroids, and she's been given a worming treatment, I think. 
can't remember. It's all kind of been a blur. Um, but the vet says keep an eye on her over the next couple of hours, see how she is in the morning. Emma's been going up every couple of hours and checking on her. She says she's doing okay. I haven't actually been up. I took Oddie out on the train, as you will have seen. Um, and then I've had phone calls from Kenzie, who's been dealing with the situation at school, much like Skye's, in that it was a difficult situation with a teenager doing something they really shouldn't have done, um, an emotionally vulnerable teenager, and Kenzie and his friends stepped in, got him the help he needed, but unfortunately did not inform the school straight away of the situation that they had found him in. Um, so when he was sent home, they were asked and he didn't, they, none of them came forward with all of the information. Um, then they went back sort of the next break and said, look, we're really concerned and actually we, we want to tell you that this was the situation. Which has meant that Kenzie's got in trouble and his friends have got in trouble. They were praised because they did the right thing but they are being given a sanction for the fact that they didn't do what needed to be done straight away. They did, like they didn't come and talk to a, a member of staff with all of the information. They came and sought a member of staff for help, but didn't give them all the facts. Um, do you know what? Growing up in this world at the moment for kids, it's shocking. I mean, I was either incredibly naive, which wouldn't be untrue, to be fair, growing up, but I think things are much harder now, much, much harder. The things that are available to him, the things they know about, everything on tap, it's just, it's a horrible situation for them all. There's no innocence left. And I don't know how the school deals with it, really. I really don't know how they cope with dealing with all of this stuff day in, day out. It's quite scary. And we're not in an inner city environment. We're in a little, you know, countryside school. I mean, it's not small, it's got several thousands of kids, but it's small compared to other schools. So, Ozzy's come home and gone to sleep. I've just been rambling for, what, five minutes? Sorry, I'm going to raid the chocolate stash, and Emma should be back any minute. I think we just need to regroup. She's been at the vets with the dogs, Great Danes. So I'll put in some footage of what a big baby Yogi is about having his claws clipped. So you can enjoy that. Like literally to hide his feet. That is something else, isn't it, mate? You really are. Betty, you can't sit on me. I need to see your brother. Such a wimp. <sighs> He's okay. I bet he's as happy as Is he okay with his legs? Yeah, all good there. Have you split your nail down the side here? The bathroom's had a bit of a flick over. I've bleached the sink, the toilet, and the bath, and the tiles up the walls, and wiped the floor down. I'm going to carry all of Harry's clothes into his room, put them all away, and then change his bedding. There we go. Bed is made. Clothes have been put away. Take that down. Take what's left of my tea down. Right, that's bathroom sorted. I'm now on sock speed dating. You know how I feel about odd socks. Uh, this family does not share my frustration in odd socks. In fact, they deliberately buy sets of odd socks, which just freaks me out quite a lot. Um, but I have this box here that I have filled with many odd socks. And then as they get washed, I create sets. And then it makes me feel happy. Till the next wash day. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I've got these three left to find. I'll come back to you when I'm done. Not bad, you know. I've managed to get those ones done. I have organised them into types of socks. Those are all Aussies. More long socks that are probably Skies. These are woolly socks. These are extra long socks. This is Friday, editing Pip. Um, I'm just checking the time. And it's quarter past one and I realised I did not finish the vlog yesterday. Um... It was a difficult evening. I'd got various things to contend with, worried about sheep. Um, Kenzie was upset about his situation at school. It was just quite intense. In general, I was on the verge of a moment, but I've pulled myself together. <laughs> I 
and sorted out what I can sort out and Maggie seems to be improving. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.